Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we have some special guest, famous bodybuilder. Welcome, Ricardo Milos. But Obho, where is your shadow? Ah, here it is. So in this tutorial, I will show you how you can create a cool or uh, shadow for 3D objects and then make it more realistic with render paths. So let's begin. Uh, what I have done already, I have imported a 3D object and I have opened world object template. So those patches are standard are default uh, in this template. And I have just put it uh, my 3D object under drag here. Okay, but actually you can take any object you want and for example, don't download it uh, from AR library and work with it. So, uh, this project will be commented uh, and all patches will be in this project. Everything you need on my Gumroad link will be in the, in the description to this video. And let's start. So, first of all, I have to copy my Ricardo duplicate and I will call it hmm, copy Ricardo then I will rotate it to 90 degree and then I have to scale it down uh, make much more thinner so it looks flat so 0.1 uh, in my case, it is Z axis, but in your case, it could be uh, Y and X. So, we have a flat Ricardo, and now I will go to Materials, Create New, and I will call it also Copy. Copy Ricardo. So, then, shader type will be flat and color will be black and I will change all this material inside my 3D object with copy Ricardo material okay now so now we have something like a shadow. Uh, so we have a 3D object and a shadow, which is actually a copy of this 3D object, uh, but we want to make it much more realistic with render path. That's why I will go to device, I will create a default pipeline, and then, uh, first of all, I have to hide my 3D shadow. Uh, how you can make it? I will create a new plane under drag here. I will call it um, camera projection. I will go to materials, create new. So I will call it also camera projection. Then it is our um, it is our camera projection plane. I will rotate it to minus ninety degree and scale it up to thirty, thirty and thirty. Uh, I will go to material of this plane and now I will connect uh, it with camera texture and it will look ugly. So now we have something like this, uh, but I have a special patch for you, it's called Texture UV Projection. It will be in my project, of course, so we will connect it with Camera Texture and Texture UV Projection with Camera Projection Material. So nice, it looks good, but now we have this flat line here. We'll go to camera projection, material, and change shader type to flat. Okay, and I will move it down a little bit. 
so our shadow is not visible and connect it one more time uh, okay our shadow is not visible but now we'll create a new one with shadow render pass and a scene render pass scene render pass then I will go to copy Ricardo I will add it to my patch editor connect it go to default color and reduce alpha channel to zero and I will create a new plane under drag here I will call it something like shadow then I will create a new material I will call it also shadow okay shadow type will be flat and I will rotate it to minus 90 degree minus 90 okay nice and scale it up to 30 30 and 30 okay so now I will connect this material with scene render pass so connect it and now we have something like a shadow uh, for example I will go to my patches I will add a blue box uh, by the way, this patch is developed by Josh Beckwich. I uh, hope I pronounced his surname right. Uh, you can check his YouTube channel. And now it's blurred, but it looks not so nice, not so nice. So, we'll go to Shadow. We'll multiply it. Uh, now it's better, but I will do it much more better with our texture UV projection. So copy it, paste, connect with scene render pass, then connect it, uh, connect blue box to texture UV projection and connect texture UV projection to shadow. Okay, now we uh, have some kind of nice blue shadow, but you can actually apply it, uh, apply any effect you want. I will uh, scale down, I will reduce our opacity so to 60 and let's, let's check on other video wow it looks kind of nice so that's all guys Therun the community as always if you enjoyed this video uh, subscribe to my channel facebook camrod um i don't know reddit uh youtube everything <laughs> uh so if you enjoyed this tutorial, push likes. Uh, have I said it? Okay, doesn't matter. So, see you soon, guys, and stay safe.